Want to know what it's like being a full-time employee and a realtor? Well, I'm here to show you. Check it out. Hi, everybody. It's Jay here with Nebraska Realty. Hoping you guys are enjoying your week. It is almost Friday, but I am here to answer a few of your questions that I have been getting asked. And one of the questions are, Jay, how is it working a full-time job while being a realtor? With that, it's what you make it, right? So, with myself, I work five in the morning and I get off around 5.30 in the afternoon, okay? So, in between those times, we do have breaks which are between an hour and a half to hour breaks. So that gives me time to run to the office and handle a few things. One thing that I will say that it's kind of difficult is um, since I am in new agent training, I'm still in training, so I still have to make certain classes. So being able to have that time off work and be able to make those classes can be a little difficult but everything is manageable one thing that I do love is within my breaks I am able to attend some of the classes in between those times of my breaks those hour and a half two hours um, you know time frames which are very helpful for me um, another thing is they do have classes Monday through Friday uh, in the middle of the day so I'm not able to make all of those classes but I can make arrangements with my job so that I can attend those classes and another question that I'm often asked is will I ever leave my full-time job to pursue my career in real estate full-time now the answer to that is absolutely but I'm the type of person I don't really rush into things because with the field of real estate you have to really be motivated you know and you have to hustle hard there's no escape on that right so with me working this job right now you know it funds me it funds me for my fees it funds me to provide um, my different aspects for marketing um, you know and different things with that so right now I'm saving, I'm putting all my money together um, so that I can do those things and market how I want to market myself and my advertisements because you have to come out of pocket for those things, okay? And one thing that I didn't realize when I first started real estate um, is the, the state and local fees. In my mind, I was thinking when I seen the chart, now if you pull up the chart at the Omaha Board of Realtors, to me, I thought we were paying like $800 every month. And I was like, uh, but somebody broke it down to me and it's yearly. So you have to pay $800 or between, you know, $750 to $800, but it, you know, it fluctuates, it goes down um, every year. And I'm glad someone broke that down to me because I was like, my head was like blown out the roof, okay? I'm like, I can't afford $800 every month on top of the things that I already have to pay for, you know, and my regular bills and different things like that. So, you know, I, I analyze my movements carefully before I ever make a jump into anything, you know, so always be mindful of that um and as a realtor you are an independent contractor so there's no insurance you know you have to come out of pocket for your own taxes so with my full-time job it's providing me those things for my health care my dental you know different things like that so until i am at a place in my career in real estate to where i can fully replace my income um now 
then that's when I would take that leap and jump out there. I am giving myself the rest of this year. I do believe by sometime next year, I will make that happen. But, you know, I'm moving slowly. I'm not the type to rush into anything because I see everybody else doing it. So I just, you know, like, hey, girl, come be yourself, come be yourself, come be yourself. But you'll be fine. As long as, you know... You, you know what you want. You have this goal vision. Nothing can stop you. So you guys know I already have that business mind spec. So I believe wholeheartedly that I will succeed in this business. You know, everything, you know, comes with obstacles and trials and tribulations. But if I can make it, anybody can make it. Because if you would just have known my story of what it took for me to get where I'm at right now in my life you guys would be but everything is possible so uh but yeah like time management and you know I do plan on leaving full-time job to pursue full-time real estate but you guys keep watch 